Fitness for me, it's it's a lot a lot about discipline. Um, I believe people, we need some grit. Um, you're gonna come across challenges in life. And by creating challenge and putting people through tough workouts, we bring that grit out in them. That way when they go out in the real world and something happens, uh, they can always fall back to that. And they know they have that inner strength. We just provide one way to challenge you and that's through fitness. Um, and then as a mom and as a wife and as a business owner, I'm a much better mother, I'm a much better spouse and all around better person. Uh, if I can get a good workout in mentally, uh, it's been very therapeutic for me. So however we can provide that for other people, uh, yeah, it's very rewarding. Yeah, so this is family owned business. Um, so it's Christina and myself, and then my sister and her husband, Aaron. Um, so the two families are running this together. We want to level up and we wanted to step up and, and be the men that our families need to lead and uh, ultimately, hopefully lead our community as well. I was baptized in the Catholic Church as a baby. Um, and then after that, I, I can't say that I had a very strong relationship with God. Uh, I, in fact, I could say that I definitely did not. I mean, I believed in God, but I didn't walk the talk. Um, I didn't pray consistently. Perhaps I only prayed when I needed something. I don't, say, I don't want to say I was wrong with God, but I wasn't, I wasn't right yet. I was working on it, and He put it on my heart to do this. And by starting the men's group, I was able to surround myself with some great mentors, some people that kind of kept me in line, and then shared that to our community. Uh, Josh, through and through, is a coach at heart. Um, big man, big presence, and just he, he commands a room. He challenges me um, in a great way. He challenges me with my faith, with my marriage, um, with how I am as a parent. Like, I see him, and he's a great role model in all those aspects. He can take a scenario, and he's like, oh, he'll just throw out a scripture at me. I'm like, oh, that makes so much sense. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but he meets me where I'm at, um, he humbles me. So it's nice to have somebody checking in on me and uh, some other aspects of my life. Since the men's group, I've noticed that his relationship with God strengthened. Um, and I see a desire for him, not just to wanna be better in life or a better man, he wants to be a better Christian. Uh, and there, you can't put a price on that and it's invaluable. Um, so at the end of the day, all I want, and I think all anybody wants, and somebody that they deeply love is to know that they have a strong relationship with the Lord. And I feel so at peace that John is working on that, uh, and that's something that he wants, so. So my faith, it's always been pretty quiet and intimate. Uh, my joke, every, every Sunday I go to service, my hands are slowly getting higher and higher. They started in my pockets. They moved to like my coat pockets and now they're up by like chest height. And uh, I'm, I'm just really, I'm coming into my faith. Um, and I wanna preach it from the rooftop. Um, I, wanna, I wanna announce to the world that, that I am being saved, um, that I wanna be a follower of Christ and I wanna be more Christ-like in everything I do. And I want to exist to deny myself. Growing up, I, I never really surrendered to his will. And by my choosing to be baptized, that's me choosing that His will will be done, and I am not going to fight it anymore. Hmm. And I want to give it all to Him, so.